City life can be wearing on me. Sometimes city life can have a negative influence. Look at you. You're a man from the city now. You're just not the Ollie I used to know. It can create a lot of stress that can just knock you down. Maybe all you need is a trip to the Ozarks for some good mountain adventure where people are friendly and cherish life, country, faith, and family. Enough of the negativity. See how simple life can be. It's time to wake up that passionate spirit to adventure. Pick yourself right back up. So grab your partner. Let's get back to nature. Today we go to Southern Missouri to the biggest playground in the Midwest, Branson, as the Show Me State really puts on a show. We love Branson! <laughs> when people think of Branson, they often think of great shows and entertainment. And there certainly is that. But did you know, Branson offers some spectacular nature areas. The first part of this video, we will show you Lost Canyon Cave and Nature Trail, Dogwood Canyon Nature Park, Marvel Cave, the Promised Land Zoo, and even go searching for Bigfoot in the Ozarks. We will then explore all the fun on the strip, show you the vast variety of shows, including Branson's homegrown, the Haygoods, you have got to see. Or a magician who as a kid was inspired by shows in Branson now returns to inspire others. Watch a poodle do the moonwalk. We'll explore Branson Landing, the scenic railroad, the fountains and fireworks, Silver Dollar City, aquarium at the boardwalk. We will take you on a horseback ride, two mountain coasters, soar on three zip lines, go down two whitewater water slides, we then end with more nature at Table Rock Lake in the White River. So hold on tight as we show you Branson by helicopter, by truck, by bike, by golf cart, by train, by drone, by boat, and by horse. One of the best ways to tour Branson is by helicopter. There are two helicopter touring companies located on the strip. Chopper Charter, which has a four-passenger seater, and Branson Helicopter, which has a three-passenger seater. I chose Branson Helicopters. They have tours as cheap as $35 for three minutes, ranging up to $179 for 18 minutes. I chose a 12-minute flight for $129. You can also buy a video of your flight for $54. Our pilot Joe pointed out notable places of interest. The Branson Bell, which we'll see later in the video, and Shepherd of the Hills Inspiration Tower, we'll show you in just a bit. But for now, we head to Silver Dollar City, located a 10 minute drive west of the Strip, which is where you can say that Branson's entertainment history began. Located just inside the front gates of Silver Dollar City is Marvel Cave, Branson's first tourist attraction. It opened in 1894 after explorers discovered it looking for mineral deposits. It is a wet limestone cave and formations continue to grow inside. The guided tours included with admission to Silver Dollar City are about an hour long and involve lots of walking, mostly descending the stairs and a little climbing stairs, as well as at times bending over walking, going through limited height areas. Feel a little like Indiana Jones. It's good to do it in the middle of the afternoon because you can see the sun peeking through. At the end of the tour, a cable pulled train takes you back to the surface. In 1960, Silver Dollar City, an 1880s Ozark Mountain Village theme park opened up, built literally around the cave. It is $74 for adults, children 4 to 11, $64. Silver, gold, and silver, sir. The $27 million Mystic River Falls opened in 2020. 
provides nearly a half mile journey through rushing waters. The river blasts where you can fire cannons of water at people. A nice water fan to keep you cool during a hot Missouri summer. Admission also includes a variety of shows that take place throughout the park. You're making a big mistake, woman. The biggest mistake I made was marrying you. Delicious skillet meals, wraps, turkey legs available throughout the park as well. I'm trying me some jambalaya skillet. Delicious. The Hawaiian themed White Water Park is also a Silver Dollar City attraction, but in a separate location, five miles from Silver Dollar City. It is located on the Strip, $47 for adults or $28 for children 4 to 11. We'll get a combo ticket, which also includes Silver Dollar City. $84 for adults, $74 for kids. Maybe I can pass as a kid. Or a two day pass, $104 for adults or $94 for children. Float down the Aloha River, or enjoy the high tide at the Surf's Up Wave Pool. Halfway between Silver Dollar City and Whitewater is the Shepherd of the Hills Adventure Park and Old Mill Outdoor Drama Theater that reenacts the famous novel, Shepherd of the Hills, with over 90 actors and actresses, horses, sheep, mules, and donkeys. This novel, published in 1907, is what put Branson on the map, as people wanted to see the era that inspired the author Harold Bell Wright. You best be finding your way out of these woods! As well as a love story, there is a shootout and an actual burning of a log cabin. and all with a great moral message. VIP seating is first four rows, only $5 extra, it's worth it. Also a family pass available to save a load of money. Also mystery dinner shows, a dinner feud show, are among other performances at the Playhouse Theater. Now we go just a quarter of a mile up the hill to Inspiration Tower, where the Vigilante Extreme Zip Rider is at. This is the highest zip line in Missouri, over 140 feet in the air. Traveling at speeds up to 55 miles an hour, over a half mile long. It's $40 on weekends and $30 on weekdays, plus tax. A tram transports you back up the hill. Now the Copperhead Mountain Coaster, $16 per driver and $10 per passenger. Additional rides, $10. With all these rides, it's good to book online. While you still have to go to the ticket booth to get a physical ticket, if you do the safety waiver online, it saves you a lot of time. The Zipline Canopy is where you soar from tree suspended platforms through the scenic Ozark Forest. Our guides, Haley and Jacob, ensuring everything was safe. Elizabeth and family flying ahead of me. On this tour, it started to rain, but that actually worked out great for me because they refunded the money. And I still got enough video to give you a good look at the canopy tour. Ozark Mountain Trail Rides is located right next to Shepherd of the Hills. They offer a one hour horse ride for just $35. They don't have a website, but you can arrange a ride by texting this number. past the canopy tour we just showed you. This is further down the tour that we never made it to due to the rain. I highly recommend the Ozark Mountain Trail Rides. A pretty good deal for just $35. 15 minutes south of Branson is the Big Cedar Lodge Wilderness Resort. And one of the many activities you can do here is the Lost Canyon Cave and Nature Trail, which you do via a golf cart. It's anywhere from $30 to $38 depending on the day in an additional $10 for parking. But the waterfalls, the cave, absolutely spectacular.
Big Cedar Lodge also has a luxury dinner yacht cruise on Table Rock Lake aboard the Lady Liberty. We now take a 35-minute drive southwest of Branson to Dogwood Canyon Nature Park. Dogwood Canyon is a dog-friendly nature preserve, an Ozark paradise for hiking, biking, fishing, and tours with a cafe and cabins for rent. This was recommended to us by our helpful YouTube subscribers. It is between $15 to $20 for admission. Additionally, you can rent a bike for $15, take a Segway tour or horseback ride for $40, do some trout fishing for $15 an hour, take a wildlife tram tour for $25 for adults or $15 for children, or take a private wildlife tour on a 4x4 for $250 per vehicle, seating for three people. You can get married here in this quaint chapel or an outdoor venue, or just enjoy a meal at the Canyon Grill restaurant with an amazing view of Indian Cliff Falls. On the 2.9 mile bike trail, you actually cross over into Arkansas. Now back in Branson at the Promised Land Zoo. It is $27 for adults, $18 for children 2 through 12. Includes a two mile drive through area where you see exotic animals from your car. There is an excursion option via an RTV for $199 where you go into exclusive areas and get much closer to the animals. Included with the regular admission is the foot safari where you can walk around and get close to the animals as well. A VIP admission available for $54 includes a guided walking and tram tour in a small animal encounter where you are able to touch and feed the animals like sloths, lemurs, kittens, owls, and more. Located a mile from the zoo on the Strip is the Bigfoot Fun Park as well as the Discovery Expedition, which we will take you on. There are all kinds of things to do here, like an adventure golf course, a Yeti fun zone and monkey jump, two major thrill rides, the Gravity Bomb, a 200-foot heart-pounding freefall ride for $13, and the Super Sling for $21, or unlimited pass for $25, includes both rides. Also the Bigfoot Arcade. And next door, the Extreme Racing Track with the fastest go-karts in Branson. Our tour guide, Jed, begins the Discovery Expedition Tour. While the tour begins on the Strip, it is a 15-minute drive out to deep in the Ozark Hills before the fun really begins. Animals will come right up to the truck for you to feed. It is $40 for adults, $30 for kids, 4 to 15. There is a fun storyline as you go looking for Bigfoot. Be aware, at times the ride gets a little wild. Jed gets a crazy idea to go up this hill. There is a surprise twist ending, but I'm not going to tell you what happens. Don't want to ruin it for you. You'll just have to see. Now it's time to explore the Strip. We'll show the museums and rides first, then the shows later. Traffic can get bad, which is why we are on a bike. Although, actually, I didn't find it as bad as Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge. And we were here on July 4th week. Very prime season. We will start with the brand new Aquarium at the Boardwalk. It is $36 for adults or $16 for kids 4 to 11. A $3 savings if you go before 9.30 a.m. Or get a combo ticket. That also includes four other attractions. $65 for adults and $25 for children. In the water's tunnel see rays. A variety of sharks and all kinds of uniquely striped and patterned fish. The Jelly Infinity Room. The Kelp Forest where kids can play. Touch the rays in the touch pool. The Hollywood Wax Museum and Castle of Chaos are some of the attractions included with the aquarium combo ticket. The Hollywood Wax Museum ticket separately is $30 for adults or $18 for children. You can see Hollywood stars, musicians, both past and present. Take pictures with them. Learn interesting trivia. 
There is also the Shoot for the Stars mini golf next to the Hollywood Wax Museum. And on the other side is the Castle of Chaos and Hannah's Maze of Mirrors. Ripley's, believe it or not, auditorium with many interesting items and people on display. It is $25 for adults and $15 for children 4 to 11. Wonderworks has over 100 interactive exhibits that will challenge the mind and spark the imagination, as well as laser tag. It's $32 for adults and $23 for children 5 through 12. At Beyond the Lens, you can experience the immersive feeling of flight as you soar over 22 national landmarks with full motion seats that dip, turn, and soar. Being we are in Missouri, got to have some blackberries. So get in a blackberry concrete at Andy's Frozen Custard. Mmm, delicious. The Track Family Fun Parks has three different locations on the strip. First is Track 3, across the street from the Andy Williams Moon River Theater. This track has more for younger kids. A carousel, go-kart, Rio Grande train, spinning teacups, swinging pirate ship. And for older kids, it has the Wild Woody track and mine, skyscraper, as well as a mini golf. At the Ferris wheels, Track 4 with the heavy metal high-rise track. Rookie Classic and Kitty Go-Karts, Sky Coaster and Ferris Wheel. Spinning Top, an Arcade, Bumper Boats, and next to Andy's Frozen Custard. And lastly, located near Whitewater, is Track 5, with the Lumberjack Wooden Go-Kart Track, Batting Cages, Route 76 Glow Golf, Laser Maze, an Arcade, and Bumper Boats. Next to Track 5 is the world's largest toy museum complex with displays of more than a million kids playthings dating from the 1800s to present. Speaking of the 1800s, the Grand Village Shops located next to the aquarium is a Victorian themed outdoor shopping mall where you can pick up a wide array of novelties, collectibles and fine gifts. Also a sugar leaf bakery and cafe. And Mel's Hard Luck Diner with a 50s themed dining room. They have a popular Hawaiian burger. Tempting, but I'm gonna go for the more healthier Southwest salad. I need lots of energy for today. We still have a lot to do. Grand Country Square is another shopping entertainment district. There is an indoor and outdoor water park. Entertainment for all ages. At the Grand Country Music Hall, shows with a variety of music, amazing pet shows with dogs and cats, comedy, real class juggling, the fun spot with go-karts laser tag, the XD dark ride, a 3D black light indoor mini golf, mini bowling, outdoor mini golf, dining with Grand Country Buffet and Papa Grand Pizza. And you can lodge at the Grand Country Inn. The Titanic Museum, where you see artifacts from the disastrous voyage. With your ticket, you are given an actual Titanic passenger name and at the end, you see if your passenger lived or died. The Lost Treasures Mini Golf, where you travel through caves, volcanoes, and waterfalls, searching for lost treasure. Branson Landing, located in the downtown district on Lake Taney Como, is a whole other area in addition to the strip for entertainment, dining, and fun, with over 100 specialty shops and restaurants. At the center of the landing is the $7.5 million fountain with amazing music, water, and fire shows every hour on the hour from 12 noon to 10 p.m. Of course, the best times to view the shows are after the sun sets. Each show throughout the day is different. At the landing, you can take a jet boat cruise on Lake Taney Como for $35 for adults and $29 for children 3 to 11. It gives you the view of Branson and the Ozarks from the water. Main Street Lake Cruises also offers a dinner cruise on the Landing Princess for $47 and the Paddle Wheel Lake Queen for $37. These boats were not sailing at the filming of this video, so check their websites for schedules. 
Another great way to enjoy the beauty of Branson Landing is flying over Lake Taney Como on the Parakeet Peak Zip Line. Rides are $25 per ride or $35 for unlimited rides. They also have the Steampunk Balloon Ride way over there that floats 188 feet above the landing for $12 per person. You can also see the countryside by train aboard the Branson Scenic Railway. An hour and 45 minute, 40 mile trip is $29 for adults and $18.50 for kids three through 12. The route crosses trestles and through tunnels. The evening dinner train is $69 per person and dome car $10 more. A look at historic downtown Branson Main Street. You can ride the free Branson trolley with 12 stops. I'm hungry, gonna get some Greek food at Dimitri's Heroes and eat it on the boardwalk overlooking Lake Taney Como. Delicious. Lake Taney Como makes up the eastern border of Branson. There is a 1.5 mile boardwalk running the entire length of the landing. You often find street performers here. A shooting gallery. Frankly, so much more to Branson Landing than we are showing you. We just had so many other areas to cover around Branson. We were here July 4th, and the fireworks was out of this world. I mean, it went on for the longest time, seemed like about 30 minutes. Now for what Branson is really known for, the shows. There are shows everywhere, so many it's impossible to see them all. A website that is really helpful is BransonShows.com. You put in the date you are looking to see shows, and it brings up all the shows and times for that date. I would look at the weather maybe two to three days in advance, then book the shows for the days that had possibility of rain. I'll begin with one of the most popular in Branson, The Haygoods. It's $43 for adult, $20 children 4 through 12. This group not only talented musicians, but the energy, the sometimes crazy things they do, is extremely entertaining. Like having a guitar player playing upside down over the audience. They'll sometimes get right in the crowd. And it's a wide variety of music. Modern hits, tight harmonies, rock, gospel, country, pop. Just incredible. They just really make you feel good by the end of the show. Another extremely popular show is the Dolly Parton Stampede. 32 magnificent horses and trick riders with a friendly competition, special effects, great musical productions, and a four-course meal. The Acrobats of Branson Eye Circus has amazing Chinese acrobats, a magician, to an amazing poodle show. Maybe I can teach Bella some of those tricks. $40 for adults and $10 for children 5 through 12. And you can pick your seat. Well worth it. At the Branson Famous Theater is Rays of the Illusionists. It's like a rock concert meets a magic show, with concert lighting and sound. He's very personable and interactive with the crowd. The Sight and Sound Theater, with biblical-themed shows, has probably the most impressive tech production. A 300-foot stage that surrounds the audience on three sides, with a cast of 50 actors and live animals that will go through the aisles of the auditorium. Because of the three-sided stage, the best seats are more in the middle of the auditorium, or back, not in the very front, so you can easily see both sides. The show six features a group of six vocalists that do amazing things with their voices. They can make them sound like instruments, now playing at the American Bandstand Theater. At the King's Castle Theater, several shows, Jersey Knights, Dancing Queen, Dublin's Irish Tenors and Celtic Ladies, as well as Anthems of Rock. Presley's Country Jubilee features one of Branson's original performing families doing country gospel and comedy. So many shows in Branson, not enough time to cover them all. I urge you to take a look at BransonShows.com. We now begin to head towards Table Rock Lake. But first, just south of the Strip, on Highway 165, is Runaway Mountain Coaster, where we run into the Walker family visiting from Texas. Ian getting ready for a fun ride. There goes his father, Chad. The Runaway Mountain Coaster is the longest and fastest alpine mountain coaster in Branson. It is $18 for driver and $10 for passenger, with additional rides for $12. They also have a zip line here for 
or do both the zip line and the coaster for $29. Lake Tanicomo flows south from the Branson Landing and eventually leads to Table Rock Dam. You can rent pontoon and fishing boats from Fall Creek Marina from $129 to $169 for four hours. Pretty reasonable. On the other side of the dam is Table Rock Lake. Near the dam is Shepherd of the Hills Fish Hatchery, raising both rainbow and brown trout. There are three miles of trails near the hatchery for hiking and wildlife viewing. Some of the trails also provide fishing access to Lake Taney Como. Table Rock Lake was once the White River. But to protect Branson from the floods of the river, the U.S. Corps of Engineers built Table Rock Dam, and thus Table Rock Lake was formed. Now Table Rock Lake draws visitors from across the country. The natural beauty of the Ozarks, combined with the recreational opportunities of the lake, make this a nice water playground. At Table Rock Lake is the White River Landing, where you can board Branson's most popular two-hour cruise the showboat Branson Bell, where there is live entertainment of music, dancing, comedy, and magic aboard the 700 passenger paddle wheeler as it cruises Table Rock Lake. You also get treated to a three course meal. General seating is $59 for adults, 32 for children, four to 11. Or try the Captain's Club for an additional $25. In the center of the lake, Crystal K Island, Across the street from White River Landing is the White River Valley Trailhead, where there is 10 miles of mountain bike trails. Several loops that give you options for the amount of miles that you want to ride. I will say at times it is pretty rocky, probably more for intermediate to advanced riders. Or just hike it. You cross streams and waterfalls. I haven't shown you many restaurants on this video because, quite frankly, wasn't much time to sit for a full meal. So much to do in Branson, even though I was here for a full week. So I found myself eating trail mix, protein bars, and these grass-fed beef sticks, which I found at Nature's Wonder. An excellent health food store. Staff very friendly. Able to pick up all the healthy herbs, food, and vitamins I forgot to bring. An advantage to Branson is there are plenty of hotels, motels, holiday inns. As a result, you find pretty reasonable rates, not like our last video of Destin. The first hotel we stayed in here was the Days Inn on Shepherd of the Hills Expressway. It had pretty decent reviews, as well as the other Days Inn in the Theater District did too. This was one of the nicest Days Inn I've stayed at. Pet friendly, a clean modern room. It's a mile from the Strip, but Shepherd of the Hills Expressway not nearly as crowded as 76 Country Boulevard. It was also a quick five minute drive to Vaskin's Deli. A great place to get quick, healthy food. Again, a tip from a subscriber. Thank you. While I like to show you different eateries, I ended up eating here three times because it was quick, dog-friendly, and a great staff with people like Nolan here. They had a variety of heroes. Bella having a turkey sandwich. But she doesn't want to eat on camera. We switched to another hotel only because we wanted to review a second hotel. And that was the Red Roof Inn located in the Theater District. Walking distance to the Strip very close to the aquarium at the boardwalk and Grand Village shops. Seems to be a newly remodeled Red Roof Inn. Clean room, the manager Shannon, very friendly. No complaints at all. Next to it, a Super 8 with good reviews too, but not pet friendly. There is also this Quality Inn that is pet friendly. A good location at the end of the strip in Shepherd of the Hills Expressway. Was gonna stay here, but they booked up. They had great reviews. There is a IHOP and Slotsky's Deli across the street. In summary, human nature often focuses on the negative. But when you get out of the house, explore nature, and meet friendly people, you realize there is a happy side of life that you almost never see reported in the news. Most people just want to enjoy life and live in peace. And Branson and the Ozarks displays that spirit so well. It shows what is great about our country, was just in a happy place. My wish is for you to come to Branson or a place like it so you can experience this feeling. We are Tampa Aerial Media. We film travel videos across the USA. For licensing or stock footage, contact us at info at tampaaerialmedia.com. The footage of Reza and Dolly Parton Stampede not available for purchase. We have put links and addresses in the description below to help you plan your Branson getaway. Again, I owe some of the credit to our great subscribers. 
always giving me good tips. Thank you very much. From the hills of the Ozarks, I wish you blessings to you wherever you may be.